Stephanie, she is so good for me in moderating my behavior. She's a beautiful partner in every way. Even though we do butt heads a few times, but that's just another visual of our love together. Well, Academy Award nominated actor Gary Busey says his wife Stephanie is not only his soulmate, but a replica of an angel that came to save him. Now, Stephanie says that Gary came to the beauty shop where she worked several times, but on his third visit, he noticed her and one thing led to another, and here they are almost 11 years later. You know, people say, what's, what's Gary like? I'm like, Gary's Gary. That's it, what you see is what you get. He goes to the beat of his own drum. It's a very loud drum most of the time. He's a hoot, very challenging. He'll challenge you on every little thing. In what way? Just anything. Name a challenge I've given you in the last four hours. Gary is eccentric. Gary's an underdog. I'm Gary... individual. I'm completely individualistic. Gary's an interrupter. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I feel like everyone has misjudged him and everyone has a preconceived idea of who Gary is and they don't know what he's been through. They don't know what his brain has been through. I'm honestly sick of it. But since I wrote his book and knowing his whole life story, oh, I learned a lot about Gary. His life is so fascinating. He's told me so many stories and just all of the successes he'd been through. I didn't know this at the time, but that a little bit of an underdog, and I was an underdog, and I just related to him very much. I felt like there was so much kindness, but a lot of gobbledygook on top of that, that we just needed to get to the, to the center of it. It's really hard to get him to talk about growing up with his dad. I feel like he was raised to feel like he was a mistake. And so anytime he would achieve success, he would create some sort of thing to bring it down. And Hey, Dad. How are you? Good. He and Luke are like buddies, buddies, buddies. I'm the best buddies. dad in the world. I have a trophy and a picture of me and Luke. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> Luke! Well, Gary says you calm him down, so I wanted to get you right out here. <laughs> Now, really, I, I'm so glad that you're here. So tell me, how did you know Gary was the right man for you? It's very interesting you asked that. I, I really, we became friends at first. And one day I was rollerblading, and, um, and I was thinking about how my age and how I wanted to have a family, because I was like 39, and I thought, well, he probably doesn't want to have a family. And I came back from rollerblading that day, and I told him what I wanted. And he was like, no hesitation, let's have a kid. You're, you're a very gentle spirit with Luke. Yes, I am. And uh, he's obviously very loved and a, a very delightful young man. Oh, Congratulations boy. to both of you on having Thank such you. a wonderful time. Thank you. Um, so you hypnotized Gary. One time, though, when we were in a small, confined space, he was having a little bit of anxiety about a lamp that made him think about being in the hospital with his brain surgery. Uh -huh. So with, cancer. without him really knowing he was being hypnotized, I hypnotized him and I gave him a mantra to release, relax, and let go. Uh -huh. And he, that's been his mantra ever since. Right. That works, too. So what did you discover about him when you were writing the book with him? He had so many great behind-the-scenes stories of his movies like the fact he didn't have the part in Lethal Weapon, it was already cast, he had come up with the idea himself to kill the captain and dragon under siege. Yeah. He had all these great creative ideas, and I wanted to get those stories in, but then I also wanted it to be very deep, and I wanted people to know, because he'd been telling me all the time about the abuse he had from his father, physical, mental, emotional, and uh, I wanted to get those stories in, and that was very difficult for him, because he didn't want to, he felt like he was letting his dad down by a really, not always saying, I love him, I love him, I love him. And I wanted him to just go deep. And at I first it was- how much my dad did love me. Yes, he did love you. Dad was, raised us like we were in the Navy. Mm -hmm. I went to bed every night at 8.30 till I was graduated from high school. It was he that regimented? Yeah, and I had a trundle bed where there's a bed about this high and then under the bed you pulled out from my little brother. Right. Well, I ran down the hall and ah, airborne, bam. <laughs> Hit the trundle bed, the trundle bed goes, boom! So my dad said, you're sleeping that for two weeks. <laughs> so I slept there like a half-upright mummy. <laughs> it was okay. I've survived that. 